All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. Uh, the name of the song is uh, Books of War. This will be coming from the artist MF Doom and RZA. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and just jump into this immediately, guys. Um, lyrics are pulled up just in case we need them. Generally do, though. This is MF Doom, guys. Let's get it. <laughs> It definitely like East Asian inspired. All right, we, we have the uh, the boom bap drums coming in here, guys. Super long intro here, guys. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. It almost sounds like this, this, uh, it doesn't belong. I, I can't explain it. It's like a weird, uh, weird vibe. I don't know. Um, obviously he's, he's rapping, rapping, right? We're not, we're not, we're not calling that out. Um, but the point that I'm trying to point out is that it almost feels like this is like a, um, I don't know, like a transplant of, of sorts, uh, just with how the pacing of his verse is going. Um, cause normally when we encountered him, he, is riding the beat very well, right? Uh, this one seems slightly off me by a couple of seconds. Silk clown, cocoa butter on a very ashy day, fam. Ray bands out on the islands of Cayman. Or I break it down for the Cayman layman. Bande soleil for the central pay. Tan, a can of old gold, too cold to hold, slow your roll. Keep on moving like soul to soul, hold the dough. Like a fool stole pity off, trying to go up against city hall titty ball. The black mic is like a red violin. Okay, everybody back to the lab, try again. Rap game like a viadin, leave bad taste, killing my high like niacin. Stop kidding, middle man. Leave bad taste, killing my high like niacin. Um, the interesting part about that bar is, uh, without a doubt, niacin will kill your high because that's what people use to detox. Uh, leave a bad taste because, again, if you ever had to take niacin to, to pass a drug test, um, you know what your mouth tastes like after that, bro. Game like Leviathan, leave bad taste, killing my high like niacin. Stop kidding, middlemen need riddling. Hit me with a full tin of gin and I'm a kid again. <laughs> Hit me with a full tin of gin and I'm a kid again. Guys, the internal rhythm here is uh, wild. Do the song right, the super villain, aka the thong biting is inviting all to the reciting that's dope and raw. Hoping all y'all come in peace and it's open more. Tear the roof off this bumble ross clock by the end of the night. Spaz like shots by a spill to shot. By the end of the night, I spazzed like Shah's bot. Uh, um, he's such a nerd, guys. I love it. Um, sh sh uh, hold on, guys. Um, that is definitely a Mork and Mindy reference, guys. Right? Shah's bot from the planet Arkin or something like that, guys. Um, it was basically like a um, like a super derogatory word that he would randomly use. Um, Shah's bot. I made the pen lines runny. I plot to ten times Ben Stein money. Funny, how he wrote the scripts with a straight face. With more rhymes than his lies in your database. Placing rappers in endangerment, who's 
reckless with this food for thought sort of like breakfast you can mark it off as wreck on a checklist Where you can mark it off as wreck on the checklist uh wreck as in catch wreck as in to get respect for uh something that you would generally are really good at or you have dedicated your life to for the most part is to catch catch wreck just to get respect for that so uh mark it off as wreck on a on the checklist so he his checklist dictated that he wanted to get respect for his uh, skills. Gold fronts, can't afford no necklace. Should that tend to go to help build them daycares? Somebody say yeah, yeah. pay your fears. Give the herbalized dishes, y'all can pay doom and beers. I came to the swing of America, <laughs> the sky that's a pella, the alpha and the mega, the home of the beggars, the black settlers. We've been beating wave lace raw. No chorus, guys. Cheers, y'all can pay doom and right. beers. I came to the swords of America, the sky that's a pella, the alpha and the mega, the home of the beggars, the black settlers. We've been beating wave lace raw, the stone with the core of on the earth and service, but they couldn't maintain it home. This dates back to 1555. When 1555, I came to the shores of America disguised as a peddler, the Alpha and Omega and the home of the beggars, the black settlers. 1555. Let's see where this takes us. All the bone the urban service that they couldn't maintain at home. This dates back to 1555 when they captured the first tribe of men and piled them in a pen. Okay. Um their verses are not talking about the same thing, guys. And beating way less raw than stone with a quarter of on the urban service that they couldn't maintain at home. This dates back to 1555 when they captured the first tribe of men and piled them in a pen 50 feet high. It took them all on the 9,000 mile ride. They landed on the shore of a place they never seen before. We read about this inside the ancient books of war. Bondage and stainless steel stripped of their language. Still survived the anguish of slavery, but still remain nameless. Separated to portions. A chick by John Horty Hawkins and sold on the oil. Separated to portions and tricked by John Hardy Hawkins. Sir John Hardy Hawkins. Um, the guy who, who went to... I think Sierra Leone, right? Um, on his first voyage, and he had taken people for the sole purpose of uh, of, um, of trading with uh, the Southerners in America. Made our brothers hate us from Virgin Isles to Jamaica, Trinidad, Honduras, Haiti, Grenada. All right. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. So it's just the beat, the letting it ride out. Um, all right, so their, their verses have really nothing to do with each other. Um, and what's interesting is that Riz's, Riz's verse feels like it was um, put on this beat originally, and then like MF Dooms was like added or something. Um, it's slightly off on his verse, but Riz's verse sounds um, really good over this beat, if that makes any sense. Um, so I don't know if this is a real thing or if this is something like that was done um, maybe after MF Doom has passed, potentially. Um, I have no idea, guys, but it sounds good regardless, right? Um, but the verses have nothing to do with each other. Uh, Riza is talking about like a lot of like um, uh, Nation of Islam stuff. Um, he's talking about uh, the trafficking, the trafficking of human beings, um, while MF Doom is not, right? Uh, you know, bring him a beer. Cheers. You get what I'm saying? Um, but all right, listen, um, it's dope regardless, right? But uh, let me know in the comments of the next thing from either of them that I should be checking out. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can, all right? Listen, you guys all have an amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly, all right?